Welcome back everyone for What Does It Offer, a series where I review a game that I have completed or just making a quick rapid review on my thoughts about the game. Today's video is Cumboard Dark Matter. I did play the demo last year. It featured one entire level and a mini boss and a boss fight. The demo took around less than 30 minutes to complete. This entire game is a 2D side scrolling shooter with arcade style. Your character is a cyber girl called Valeria, who is hunting three aliens. This entire game takes place inside one big spaceship. Valeria's abilities are sword attacks. She can also do a triple jump thanks to her jetpack. She can also pick up uh, the weapons that aliens drop or machines that also drop weapons to use. Her most important weapon is for shield. She can activate for a few moments. This reflects all projectiles back to the enemies. You do have a difficulty you can select before entering each level. Easy, normal, and hardcore. The only difference being the enemies will change on your run. If you pick, some of them will have shields, some of them will not have shields. Some of them will be less aggressive, some will be more aggressive. If you pick easy, you will have one extra life bar. Valeria only has three life bars. Three hits, and the game is over. But this, but there is a plus. Every area you pass, whether you only have one life bar, and let's say Valeria dies and the moment you enter the next room, you will start in that same room with full life bars. That is a very good plus in this game. There are no permanent upgrades or extra... You can increase your attack or anything like that during the game. It's all depending on the weapons you find. Now this entire main story revolves around three levels where, where you must capture three alien creatures. But along the way, in each of these levels, they're, they're formed by different rooms. In those different rooms, sometimes you're gonna find these yellow robots. They are tricky to get sometimes because there are in places a small area that could damage your character. Or there might be a very powerful enemy there guarding it with a shield. Or you must figure out a small puzzle how to able to reach this yellow robot. Picking all three yellow robots will increase also your score at the end of each room that you complete, but there is a different purpose for these yellow robots. Once you clear the main story, or during the main story, if you collect 14 yellow robots, you will unlock a capsule bonus level. If you collect 20, you will unlock the second capsule level. And 30, you will unlock the final capsule level. Or if you took like, let's say, Normally it will take you on your first run less than 90 minutes to complete the four, the all, capturing all three aliens and completing the main story. But with these bonus levels now, you're going to have to add another 90 minutes. So, because on, once you complete the, the main story on your second run where you're picking up all those yellow robots, it will probably take you less than 60 minutes to complete that. But you will now have access to these three new levels where the challenges are going to be a little bit more complicated because no matter what difficulty you choose it is it, really gonna challenge you somewhat up because there's gonna be waves of enemies etc like that the mini bosses in this game are mostly robots machines that fire projectiles and you must reflect back but you must defeat three waves of enemies and the more you damage that robot speaking of the alien bosses the second and the third alien boss will be more of a challenge mostly because the second alien boss has a a cube that's moving it's very slow somewhat but the more you damage it because you can only damage it by one side on the top with this one shot weapon and sometimes you need to reflect and pick it up keep damaging that one part and he will keep adding more skills so you gotta avoid being splat being sliced by those cutters that he has and be avoid being laser burned the third and final boss this one will be a little bit somewhat more fast because she has a shield and she has these red boxes around her you need to hit all the red boxes to turn them green if you do her shield will drop but if you take too much time one of the green boxes that you've already hit will reset back to red so you really have to move really fast while avoiding these green bubbles that are moving slowly but are trying their best to keep you from reaching those little boxes and her attacks are somewhat cover the whole entire area sometimes so you gotta know what spot she's not gonna use her electricity charges on overall the final score for Gumbert 
Dark Matter, I would say this game is. The game may be difficult to some, yet you can always adjust the difficulty. 